if dad gets coronavirus, he has a higher chance of dying or going to intensive care. Feels like you know, a new life almost, just everything's different. My attitude toward it has lapsed a little bit and I'm not as cautious as I initially was. There's no substitute for a cuddle, you know, there just isn't. The Irwin family in Hamilton have been shielding together for 11 weeks now to protect Nige, who was diagnosed with a rare form of blood cancer four years ago. Nige has come through a really, really difficult time and we're really fortunate to have kept him and we would just not expose him to that risk. They're going way beyond what they actually need to do because they haven't been asked to shield. It's been advised that it's easier to shield as a family than it is as an individual because as an individual I would have to stay in my own part of the house and not have any contact with them. Do you miss your friends? Yeah. Hi guys. <laughs> it's coming now, said Busy Cow. Contact is something people on the shielded list are finding ways to adapt. Three-year-old Adeline Davidson from Allness in Easter Ross is waiting for a bone marrow transplant. Her life-saving operation, which was planned just before lockdown, was cancelled at short notice. Her mum fears the coronavirus pandemic may cause further delays. Her condition could progress itself or we could have to deal with an illness in between, you know, any sort of virus, never mind coronavirus, would make her very ill anyway. Adeline has been shielding with her mum, dad and younger siblings for 15 weeks now. Before we wouldn't have to worry about her checkups because they'd be home, home visits from nurses. So it's been more difficult us having to go into the hospital. Another huge difference is obviously I've had to take on more levels of care at home. The changing of the dresses I've had to do a lot more often and just keeping her well, really. It's, it's a lot harder just being contained. Keeping her occupied is a hard one as well. I put her on a cake. While Adeline has weekly blood transfusions to keep her alive, Graham Cowan needs kidney dialysis three times a week. Before the pandemic, the 37-year-old was an avid climber but that's now on hold. Just after 6 p.m., just off on my usual bike ride. While most people shielding stay in the house, Graham must make the journey to hospital across Glasgow on his bike to avoid the risk of public transport. Uh, obviously going out with the mask on and, and just being very careful. And I was a bit worried about getting too close to people, even, even while cycling. Since then, I kind of like, I've started to kind of ease down, kind of, worry about it. I still have to kind of keep fit, make sure I keep healthy to kind of make sure I can cycle there and back. Much like Graham, Mary Colleton from Clyde Bank is well used to hospital visits. An amputee with an autoimmune condition which attacks her lungs, she is shielding, but misses her granddaughter Hannah dreadfully. When she was six months old, I had her half the week because her mum and dad worked and childcare was expensive. So I've been like the third wheel in the wagon from when she was born, basically. And you see things I've got to pop with you. I just desperate to give her a big squashy cuddle. I'm sort of in a regime that I've got to keep myself safe anyway. And my days of going to the pub and the club are long gone. So I'm quite good with my own company. But it's the not being able to go out and plump your tomatoes and pick your pork chop and stuff. But I've, you know, dragged myself in at the 21st century with the internet and I'm now a, an avid shopper online. <laughs> it's clear to see our parks, streets and roads are busier again as social restrictions have eased. But the message in Scotland is clear. Those shielding must continue to do so. Having endured almost three months of little or no contact with the outside world, it's taking its toll. Since the initial lockdown uh, was announced, my attitude toward it has lapsed a little bit and I'm not as, as cautious as I initially was. And I just worry that over time, I will start to kind of venture out more because I, I feel I kind of need to. I think I just missed that, that, that kind of close personal contact, with like a hug from a friend and that kind of thing. Make no bones about it, it's three of us in a house for it's 11 weeks today, so what, day 78? It may as well be day 11 billion and two. 
But do you know what? If we weren't as close a family, I think this could have been a torture. I've got a whole list of things I want to do after lockdown, and it's a heck of a lot. We've seen lots of pictures on the news of people going out and about at beaches. How does that make you feel? Well, I feel jealous <laughs> that everyone's out doing that. And uh, in this fine weather, it would be nice if we could go out and do that. It would be too dangerous for us, well, for me. People look at me and they don't see that I am as ill as I am. When do you think you'll feel safe to go out again as a family? I think it's going to take me a long time. I think I'm just going to be very anxious about it. I think I'll always be worried, to be honest. I think it's going to take a few years, I think, for me to feel like we can do normal things again. But for you, you're ready to go out? Oh, for sure. Aye. Aye. It's, it's, been, it's too high a price to pay. I think I'll take my chances, but it'll be a calculated chance that I'll do everything in my power to make myself and keep myself safe. But that will be my choice. And fair play to the people that want to still stick with it. I totally get it, but for me, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. There has been much talk of a vaccine. Is that the only hope for those shielding to feel safe? I think we need to find one. If, uh, oh, if we don't find one, I think I'll never feel safe enough to go out. Obviously, if a vaccine came along, I would be signing up for it as soon as I could, but I'm not putting all my hopes into it. When it comes to Adeline or other people that are shielding, I maybe don't think they would be allowed the vaccine if, say, if it was a live vaccine. We're not allowed to give Adeline live vaccines in case she gets ill from it. I don't think now my decision would be based purely if a vaccine came out. I think I'm ready to come out of the caterpillar and fly like a butterfly because, no, I, me personally, I just feel I can't go in now. Hiding away.